Hello, I'm getting ready to do some videos on the use of a backquad antenna, but I thought maybe I should do an introduction video on what a backquad antenna is, because it's not as popular or well known as a cantenna that you've probably heard about in some of my other videos. So this is a backquad antenna. It's named for the fact that it has two squares of the antenna element, backquad, two squares. Get it? So this one is actually coated with a tool dip or basically a rubber substance so it can be exposed to the elements, but inside here you would find copper wire. How this works is you can follow instructions online to bend copper wire into this shape. Now the top bend here is attached to the outside of, or the ground of an antenna connector. And the bottom bends are attached to the center post of an antenna connector. This whole thing is attached to unprinted circuit board, which is basically copper. On the back we can see this antenna connector and they generally use an N-type connector for these things because that's what you find on professional antennas. You could actually use any type of connector uh, but N is what you're going to see the most often so that's what I want to talk about here. How this works is each one of these bins is actually the length that you would find inside a antenna. You know, each one is perfectly tuned for 2.4 gigahertz signals so it's like eight little antennas in one and because they're attached to the inside and outside of this uh, center hub and they're attached to a electrically conductive plate it becomes a really good system that turns the head and your antenna cable into a really big antenna. Now the antenna cable you just attach it to the back and you're good to go. This is a little bit more omnidirectional than a Cantana and you don't have to point it exactly at the source that you're aiming at, but it still is directional enough to where I wouldn't call it an omnidirectional antenna. That is, it has a beam width that's fairly wide, but it's not so wide you can be pointing away from the source and still pick up that source. All the other important thing you need to remember is when you're getting your cable, you need an RPSMA for most antenna cards nowadays. That's reverse polarity SMA. And this is a male. That confuses a lot of people because there's no pin in it. Uh, but trust me, it is a male. The reverse, reverse polarity it gets rid of the pin for some reason, so it's still a male. So make sure you buy the right cable, attach this into your antenna on your Wi Fi card, and you use this end to pick up some Wi Fi signals. So we're going to do some tests in upcoming videos, and we're going to let you know how this works compared to other types of high gain Wi Fi antennas. 